basically starts if we're talking about uh, shin splints as a, an inflammatory response in the periosteum in the bone. Um, and then obviously can complete end with a complete stress fracture. Um, there's a couple of different things. So people think that tibial stress syndrome is very clear cut in terms of the mechanism. Everyone thinks it's just purely a loading thing. Obviously that's a high component of it, but there's a lot of other things um, and components that are part of it that are not as well researched and we don't actually have a very clear definitive, this is how stress injuries occur. Um, so other things I'll put in here. So obviously it's increased tibial strain through the actual bone, um, but other things including tendinopathy, periosteal remodeling is something I'm gonna go through a little bit more in depth because um, I think the understanding how this process works and how this can affect people, particularly when we're talking about um, distance runners, we're talking about people who compete in endurance events and understanding that model and how that can be affected by things like diet and hormones, um, other stress, etc.